Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. Are you lot doing well? Because I hope so. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is indeed a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about Chelsea's possible opponents in the next round in the Champions League and it's exciting and daunting at the same time. And we're going to be reporting on certain news stories, mainly on Chelsea transfer news. Oh yeah, and yet another bid has come in for Chelsea Football Club to Roman Abramovich. Why are people bidding on Chelsea if it's not for sale? Hmm. Anyway, before we get into the content, a quick reminder for you there to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you are indeed new to the channel, please do click subscribe, click the bell notifications icon, and click that like button. Right then, let's get into it. There are a lot of transfer news stories going around, and two of them who have been linked with Chelsea that also have price tags slapped on them, allegedly, or at least it's been reported. Numbers have come from somewhere. Anyway, those two players are Neymar and James Rodriguez, Galacticos. We're gonna get into that in a moment. But news of Chelsea exits in January keep rotating, and that's free. Marcus Alonso away to Inter Milan, we thought maybe it would be the summer, but it could be as early as January. We know Pedro Rodriguez is also linked with a January exit, most likely destination being Premier League team Aston Villa to join up with former teammate John Terry. I really like that transfer. I've reported on it before, but I think it's a nice move for Pedro. And finally, we know that out of favour striker Olivier Giroud needs to be playing football before the summer, where he will be leading the line for the world champions in the Euros. Giroud has also been heavily linked with the likes of Inter, but apparently Diego Simeone's side, Atletico Madrid, are looking to bring the Frenchman to the Spanish side. Atletico, for all their heavy investment in the summer, are really struggling of scoring goals. Simeone's desired free-flowing attacking football never seemed to come home and really they might need to go back to a more Route 1 style. Who do you want for Route 1 football? Olivier Giroud. Obviously Atletico Madrid are a massive side and to be honest Atletico or Inter both huge destinations for Giroud and if he gets a decent contract out of it he really should go for it. He's been talking about MLS before, but to be honest, man, if he can go to Inter, have a really strong chance of winning the Scudetto this season under Antonio Conte. Who knows, uh, Giroud? I think that's a great move, personally. Anyway, watch this space and I'll keep you guys updated on Chelsea exit. Right, Chelsea qualified out of the group stages last night in the UEFA Champions League, and they uh, finished second in Group H, which turned out to be an absolutely box office, insane group. I mean, Ajax came third with 10 points, nuts. And with that, Frank Lampard's European campaign should already be considered a success. But of course, the type of character Lampard is, and indeed some of his team, they will want to go on and go as far as they can into the competition, but after finishing second in the group, they face some incredibly difficult potential opposition. So I have it here, Chelsea can either face Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Barcelona, or RB Leipzig. Now, remember, RB Leipzig sounds like the easiest option there, but they're much higher than Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. I think they're joint top or top of the moment with Borussia Mönchengladbach. So they're an amazing team. Well, let's have a look at those teams. There's a lot of Chelsea narrative in there already. I mean, no real links to Bayern, nor any real links to RB Leipzig apart from Ampadu having a failed loan over there. But Paris Saint-Germain, Chelsea always draw on the knockout round. So that would just be a recurrence yet again. Barcelona, Chelsea have loads of history of Barcelona in the Champions League, so that would be another box office narrative waiting to make full circle. And Juventus is obvious. Ex-Chelsea boss Maurizio Sarri is currently at the helm and he would be returning to Stamford Bridge. I don't want to say a much maligned character, but the Chelsea fans never took to Sarri. I don't think there's any hatred towards him, because bearing in mind, he won the Europa League, finished third, got to a cup final, and got out of there. He didn't hang around for too long. He literally stayed for one season and performed. So ultimately, I think a lot of Chelsea fans were happy he moved on. Not all, just some. But I don't think there's any real bad feelings towards Maurizio Sarri, especially in how things have worked out for Chelsea. Frank Lampard needed that season at Derby. Chelsea got into the Champions League. Everything kind of worked out perfectly. Regardless, I said this in my match review of the game last night. Anything moving forward now for Chelsea is a bonus. Frank Lampard's European campaign should already be considered a success, considering what he's had to work with, his experience and time in the club, 
and the group Chelsea were in. Plus, there's already a massive financial boost of just getting out of the group stages. Speaking of the club and finances, Roman Abramovich and Chelsea have turned down another bid to buy Chelsea Football Club. This approach was made by a gentleman billionaire called Ted Bowling. He's part owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers and head of a financial firm, so yes, billionaire America sounds familiar. Apparently, Roman Abramovich has turned down this bid because his asking price was not met. I think he wants three billion, apparently, for Chelsea Football Club. But Bruce Bott came out recently with those comments saying, no, Chelsea is not for sale. Roman Abramovich speaks with myself, Marina and Frank Lampard most days. Certainly speaks to Marina every single day about Chelsea Football Club. Those comments kind of put everything to bed from Bruce Buck, but to be honest, Roman Abramovich's long-term absence has been peculiar. Still, you have to wonder if another billionaire does pop up with three billion pounds and says, can I buy Chelsea please? What's gonna happen? Is Roman gonna sell? What does that even mean for Chelsea? His time owning Chelsea has been a blessing for Chelsea fans. And regardless to whatever you think about Roman Abramovich as a Russian oligarch who came over, he is a genuine fan of Chelsea Football Club and wanted them to do well and play good football and win trophies. He was always at Stamford Bridge wearing a scarf and when you look at the likes of the Glazers, the Cronkies, Mike Ashley, in a time where football fans hate their club owners, Roman's been great for Chelsea, so it's an interesting one to see whether he will sell or not. Watch this space. I'll keep you updated. Right, so the Chelsea transfer ban has been lifted. Chelsea reportedly have £150 million to spend in January, and that's before any potential exits as well. You'd think there'd be some money made for Giroud and Pedro, if only a little, little bit. And Marcus Alonso, if sold in January, should bring a few million as well. We know all the big usual names that have been rotating around Chelsea Football Club. Sancho, Timo Werner, Ben Chilwell, Nathan Ake. I've reported on all these stories. Make sure you do go back and watch previous Chelsea news videos to get the updates. But Chelsea have been linked with two Galactico top tier star names. Those in James Rodriguez and Neymar. Let's start with James Rodriguez. Surplus to requirements at Real Madrid, but still a very, very talented technician and a magnificent footballer. James is a sort of attacking midfielder, number 10. Chelsea really only have Mason Mount as that sort of player at that level. Sure, Christian Pulisic can play in the number 10, but I think Frank Lampard would prefer to keep him out wide. Mason Mount will keep his place in the Chelsea team and always fight and always be in contention, but Chelsea could do with a Galactico name in that spot. Rodriguez is still only 28 years old. Bayern Munich got him on loan from Real Madrid, but did not exercise the right to trigger the clause. And with the crazy amount of money Real Madrid spent, last summer under Zidane to get all these new players in. It's been reported that they're willing to flog Hammers to level out financial fair play, balance their books and keep everything kosher. The reported fee for James Rodriguez is 42 million pounds. Now, considering the player is still a very decent age, sure he's not a spring chicken, but 28 is a prime, you'd fancy three odd years of top, top level, 42 million pounds, looks like a good deal. He would be a statement signing. Sure, he's not a Neymar or even a Sancho, but think about what Rodriguez has done in his career. He's done a lot, he's won a lot. Players like Sancho still come with a little bit of a risk. Obviously very different player to James Rodriguez, but still. So the journos are saying Chelsea have been sniffing around Rodriguez and are considering a bid for him. And perhaps even though a price of 42 million have been slapped on him, Chelsea come in with a bid slightly lower and they don't get any other offers, perhaps a deal could be made. Who knows? Rodriguez for £35 million would look like an absolute snip. And it'll be really interesting to see what he can do in the Premier League. Imagine Chelsea buy James Rodriguez for the same price they bought Danny Drinkwater and less than what they paid for Bakayoko. Mental, really, when you think about it. Anyway, watch this space as per usual. I'll keep you posted daily on football therapy, so make sure you check back every day. So finally, one to away Paris Saint-Germain Brazilian Neymar PSG are preparing for his inevitable exit. Generally, they wanted him out in summer, but they didn't want to take a gargantuan loss on him. Neymar's one of the best players in world football, and the 27-year-old has been targeted by some other European clubs. We know Real Madrid and Barcelona were both sort of in for him, certainly Barcelona massively, but Real Madrid toying with the idea more so to just take him away from Barcelona. But Juventus, Manchester City, and Chelsea are apparently all sniffing around. The truth is, Madrid have spent 
spent loads of money and obviously they have Eden Hazard in this position now. Although a return to Barcelona always looks likely, you're not sure. Plus they have got other good players in his position now. Last summer, Paris Saint-Germain came out and said they would not accept anything less than 200 million for the Brazilian. Remember they spent what, 220 million on him? But another year has run down on his contract and apparently now they will listen to offers of 150 million. Now that's still obviously a lot, a lot of money. But this is Neymar we're talking about, still in his prime at 27 and 70 million pounds cheaper than what they bought him for. Neymar coming to the Premier League would be the ultimate box office transfer. He'd be seriously, seriously tested and I can imagine everyone would love to see Neymar have to go up to Turf Moor on a freezing, windy, rainy evening. <laughs> Still, would Chelsea want him? I don't know. I mean, Chelsea are interested in big Galactico signings when they can. It's been a while, so maybe they're due. Would Frank Lampard want him? I'm not so sure. If Neymar wants to turn a corner in terms of his attitude on the pitch, maybe he will come to the Premier League. Maybe he will come to Manchester City. Who knows, maybe even Chelsea. But for me, the Barcelona return still seems most likely. But boy, what a turn in the script if Neymar comes to the Premier League. Right, that's it for today's news video. What do you think? Get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and all the stories I've been reporting on on today's video. Remember, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. And a reminder to you guys to do go subscribe to Yan Plays my FIFA 20 gaming channel, or certainly I'm playing Chelsea career mode on FIFA at the moment. The link is in the top of the description. Make sure you do go subscribe. Right, that's it from me, ladies and gents. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back